have gotten bigger. Second down four. Jacobs is in. The rookie out of Alabama. Breaks a tackle and with a nice cut. He's in the secondary. 180. Two tight ends. Jacobs. Blocked by Brown. The right tackle. Tackled on the play by Anthony Walker. Gain of five to the 18, 19 yard line of the Colts. So the guys in the huddle make good decisions. From the 24, Jacobs. Oh, he corkscrews his way and Sheard will uh, stop him along with getting some help on that defensive line from Grover Stewart. Here are the first four times here this afternoon. 180! Just got the punt. First and 10, Derek Carr. That's Jacobs, the rookie receiver. That's the second reception of the season. Out to the 18, hit by a couple on the play, including Kenny Moore. And 180! That long one. Jacobs in goal the block, and that's a first down run. Jacobs now four yards away from being number one in franchise history for rookie rushing through four games. Are looking for someone as Jacobs. That's going to be a first down. They make a miss there with the missed tackle by Muhammad and out of bounds. Followed by Anthony Walker. Involved in the passing game. He's certainly capable. This is a good job by Carr. He's going to go all through his progressions. You look at where Josh Jacobs is, is in, the, in the lineup. He's the number four. The right guard, Debbie, is out. Good take in his place. First and 15. Jacobs, Hudson a block. Good, a block. Oh, and he burst through! And he's got a 16-yard gain. First and 15. Carr to Jacobs. Blocked by Good. Broken tackles. Galloping into the grasp of Willis. Tight ends. First and 10. Derek Carr. Jacobs busting free. Broke a tackle in there, a Walker. Finally taken down in the secondary. With the two tight ends again, Jacobs cutting, driving, first down. Willis jumps on his back, gain of five. Hanging that left arm as he will jog into the Falcons' locker room. We'll get you updated as quickly as we can. Ryan completing the first down pass. New set of downs for Cousins and company. Complete digs. Did he have it? Haha, -ha, Clinton Dick scoops it up. Ruling on the field incomplete. And complete is the call on the field. And look, I mean, these are always like you catch it and then the hand comes in right when it got it. And that's why you never keep that ball to the shoulder on these slants where the defender is. That might be the right call. It's pretty close. But you see, he, he definitely catches that. Got another challenge flag. It is a catch followed by a fumble. On the RPO, handoff to Williams, and the ball is loose again, and it's picked up by Sean Robinson of the Lions. What a crazy third quarter. There's been three fumbles recovered by the other team. Irved there, because watch when he goes with Daryl Williams on the mesh point. Can't figure out whether it's a give or a keep, and then Williams trying to possess it. An excellent job by Trey Flowers, who they acquired from New England. And look at another right hand coming in. Now, I'm old enough that that felt like, you know, Duran Leonard. These fans were hoping for in Atlanta. No, not at all. A little wildcat formation. Arthur Smith going into his bag of tricks. See a mixture of Henry's numbers. Here he is again. So after the fumble, what do the Bengals come up with? Off the fingers of Eifer. Intercepted. And that ends that as Mark Barron secures it. Miles Jack all the way out on fan. Good tight end. Black hole throws it too high and it's picked off. Intercepted by Harrison. Harrison still on his feet. At midfield, Harrison's still going. And Harrison finally taken down. Garrett Bowles on the tackle for Ronnie Harrison. That's his second career interception. Joe Flacco, like you said, this ball is high. The receiver can't even think about jumping for it. Emmanuel Sanders, Joe Flacco has a really high release. He lets that ball go high and sails over Sanders' head. You see Sanders kind of stick his hands up there. I always want the guy to go. Defense here in Orchard Park did it for so long. Allen to the outside. T.J. Yeldon after the catch. 
Allen surveys, stops and delivers, hits his man, T.J. yelled it. Trail the Patriots 16-10 with just over nine minutes to go in the fourth. Passes on time to T.J. Yelp. No pressure initially. Barkley, the soft toss. T.J. Yelp. Now from the Browns, 43. This is Ingram. Ingram, right up the middle, following blocking inside the 30 to about the 25-yard line. Finally brought down by Sheldon Richardson. More of a run group personnel compared, compared to spread out last time. Ingram to the end zone. his head underneath the arms of Humphrey. First down. They got Humphrey on him. He's the one in motion. Beckham is. Mayfield flips it incomplete. Intended for Beckham. Broken up by Humphrey. It'll be second and ten. Well, and Beckham's looking for the call once again. He tries to do a double move. He's working the drag route. Watch how he goes to the inside. He'll plant his foot and go to the outside. Watch the arm hook. That right arm hooked around the body. On second and five, Mayfield pulls it down. Now throws, and it's complete, incomplete, out of the hands of Odell Beckham Jr. Marlon Humphrey covering. Well, this is one of the few times you'll see a ball hit Odell Beckham Jr. in the hands, but Humphreys gets the arm in between and knocks the ball out. Normally very sure-handed, but watch Humphrey. That right arm goes between the two arms and causes the separation. Third and five. No catches. Been thrown to four times today. Mayfield under pressure. Got rid of it on the screen. Hilliard. Hilliard inside the 40. Penalty marker flies as he's brought down at about the 30. And well, a little bit of a scrum back at about the 45-yard line. Well, it's Humphrey. I can tell it's Humphrey, so my guess it's Odell Beckham Jr. And this has become more than a scrum. And another flag is thrown. Can you tell this is a division? You're going to see the bottom of the screen. Humphrey, 44. Odell Beckham Jr., 13. They're going at it. Over to the left of the screen. In wrestling, that'd be a two-point takedown. Beckham Jr. with a handful of face mask. This was just a few plays before this last. Humphrey and Odell Beckham Jr. Marlon, from your perspective, what happened in the exchange with Beckham? Um, did you see the game? Yeah. Well, then you can it's take hard it. To tell exactly what happened. Yeah, you can just take it um, how it is. Um, I, I ran to him after the game uh, and apologized. Um, it's not really what, you know, the brand of football I really want to represent. And, you know, the whistle blows, you know, it's got to be over with. So, you know, it got, our, got my team a flag, so it's never good when you're getting a flag. And um, it's not really the, like I said, it's not the brand I want to represent. So um, I was happy I was able to talk to him after the game.